Hi guys! So for those who have seen my other videos, you guys know I'm a huge Backstreet Boy fan ever since I was a little kid. And well, finally, this year, finally, on September 6th, I got to go to my first Backstreet Boy concert ever. For months, I, I saved up for it. And I wanted like, all my friends to come with me, but only one, I only bought two tickets, so... On September 1st was my friend Ashley's birthday, so I decided to take her. I felt really bad though because I wanted to take like all my friends with me because they they like their music too. Maybe not as much as I do, <laughs> but they do because I always playing it in the car. And well, anyways, I went to my first Backstreet Boy concert, and it was amazing. Like I've waited like 13 years, 13 years to go to one. The closest I've ever came to going to a Backstreet Boy concert was 2011. Um, they were gonna go up to Vegas with Nico in the Block when they were touring together, and yeah, I wanted to have family in Vegas, so like I, like I almost bought the Greyhound tickets, um, but I didn't think I wasn't sure if Mom was gonna let me go, so I didn't didn't really buy the t I didn't bu end up buying the tickets but this year I finally had the money so I bought I remember I remember the day the tickets went on sale I bought them and <sighs> I've been waiting months anxiously um well anyway I start with how the day went uh I had school that day I didn't get out to one so I had to drive back from school to here's like half an hour drive so I drove back home um uh, my friend lives like um like five minutes away so I went to um I got home my mom made us um lunch and I hadn't eaten all day at all I didn't have breakfast or anything so but I wasn't really hungry because I was like so I was so excited I was like I'm going to a Backstreet Boys concert so I was already running, running late it was I got here like at 1 40 and I still needed to like change and get ready because I yeah, I didn't want to go like just jeans and t-shirt like like that's how I'm and that's how I dress every day but I'm like this is an important occasion I need to wear something nice so I was gonna wear a dress but I didn't because it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be kind of cold at night so I ended up just wearing uh, a nice blouse and high waisted shorts and of course my Backstreet Boy sweater and which I'll show you a picture of me wearing it. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm forgetting. Well, I went to go pick up my friend, Ashley, and yeah, she she doesn't really out of all my friends, I think she's the one that knows the least about them. But yeah, we headed um we headed to Arvine because I live in San Diego. It's like a an hour and a half drive. It was Friday though, so there's gonna be traffic by Oceanside, by Camp Pendleton. Um, I didn't get that much traffic though. I did get there like an hour and forty minutes. Um, so I, we got there around four something, and yeah, we. The concert didn't end up starting until like seven. At seven thirty, um, Brian Liter Brian Littrell's son. Um, Bailey, he sang two songs. <laughs> it was so cute because he has such a good voice. And I don't know, like, everybody in the audience was like, oh my god. Because he, that's a little, talented little kid. And after that, um, DJ Polly D did his thing. <laughs> I didn't, I knew who he was, but since I don't have cable, I don't really watch the Jersey Shore. I'm not sure if it's still on. My friend actually told me that he has a, he has his own show, but um, anyway, he did he was a pretty good DJ. Like um, there was like people dancing. Um, the thing I liked about the concert though that there was kids from like younger than me. There was like fourteen year olds, fifteen year olds by themselves, and then grown ups like thirty year olds. It, it was like very diverse. Like many people of any ages. There was a lot of couples though. I saw mostly couples. And anyway, um, after Polly, Polly D 
DJ Polly D. I think that's his name. Uh, after he performed, um, Jesse McCartney went on. And my friend Ashley, she loves Jesse McCartney. So we were like singing along. It was He sang two new songs, which I, they were really good. And that was, he went on around 8, 30. He sang like not nine songs. So he, his set didn't end like until 9. 9.15ish or 9.10 no wait I don't know like yeah 9 from 9 o'clock to 9.15 his set ended and then there was like a 5 minute break for the Backstreet Boys to get on they were do, switching the things on stage I was so excited I was so excited like I can't even explain to you I honestly thought I was gonna cry like these were my childhood idols and well, still now, I still listen to them. And I was just so excited. Oh, I can't even describe to you how I felt. I didn't cry though. <laughs> I really thought I was going to because I was so excited. And then around 9... 9... 12, no. oh, I have it on my phone because I called my friend right away when the phone... When they started singing. And so I think it went on like a 9, 17, 9, 18-ish. And oh my god, it was amazing. It was amazing. They sang like for two hours because the concert didn't end until like 11. 11. At 11 7, they sang the last song. So like around 11. 11 11, <laughs> the concert. Oh, make a wish. Uh, the concert ended. But it was amazing. They sang songs from their new album, which. I still haven't gone in because I ordered I ordered it off their um, online website when um, I bought it signed. So I've been waiting for it. I still haven't gone in it. And yeah. Well, anyway, they sang songs from their new album and some of their hits, just as I wanted that way. Everybody, all I have to give. Um, don't want you back. And. Cause you're no good for me, I uh, know. Uh, more than that, um, I hope. Oh, they did this lovely acoustic set. Um, they sang they sang a song called "Safest Place to Hide," which a lot of people don't know, but it's from their 2005 album. And oh, they also sang Ten Thousand Promises," which is from the album they released only in, like in Europe. There was like their second album in Europe. That's a great song too. I didn't think they were gonna sing those because, um, like I like I love them. I love those songs, but most of the people I didn't feel really knew it, and I was singing the whole time. It was amazing, and I'm really happy my friend Ashley went with me, and I really like that after we got out, like she's like, oh my god, that was like the best concert, and like I was like, I was really happy too. There was a lot of people though, getting out. Getting out walking and out of the parking took like an hour, but it was all worth it. It was all worth it. Um, I wasn't tired at all until like, I think half an hour of waiting in the car just trying to, without the line moving, I started getting sleepy, but I didn't. Because um, if I did, I was going to ask my friend Ashley to drive because I think it's dangerous to drive when you're sleepy. It's kind of like drunk driving. You don't want to ever drive like that, but... Um, we had made some, not mixtapes, but mix CDs because um, of different types of songs. So we were listening to it, so it kept me awake. I was more quiet though because my, my voice hurt because I was mostly yelling. Yelling, yelling, and singing <laughs> and dancing. Oh, and it was just amazing. I know I'm just redundant right now, but it's, yeah, so if... If you ever got a chance to go to the Backstreet Boy concert, it's amazing. Like, it was not just like an hour show, like, some of the concerts I've gone to, it's just like an hour, hour and a half. But this was like four hours, basically, because um, it started at 7.30, 7.30, um, 8.30, 9.30, like three and a half hours of music, like, non-stop, like, just like small breaks in between. Um, like when they're getting changed or something, or they ch change the artist, but it was such a good concert, like, and yeah, 
<laughs> and if you haven't heard of Backstreet Boys, look them up. They're really, they're really talented guys. And still, oh, they still dance, which is amazing. And I'm glad I ended up going to this concert because uh, back when they were with New Kids in the Block touring with them, well, Kevin wasn't in the group. Um, he had taken some time off. So actually getting to see all five of them on stage, it was amazing. And definitely, definitely the best concert I've been to. It was, yes, it's biased because I love them so much, but, and yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. This is a shirt I bought at the concert. It was kind of expensive, but I wanted it so bad. So that's the only thing I bought besides water. Because, yeah, I was getting hot <laughs> with everybody. And, oh, the concert was pretty much full, sold out. Except there was, like, some tickets towards the front, towards the um, the right side. Like, of ten spots towards the corner that nobody bought. Which I thought was weird because when I bought the tickets, the seats all in the front were sold out. So, I'm not sure what happened. But it was pretty much full. And... Yeah, and that was all, and I want to thank my mom too, because she trusted me with the car. It's like, an, like I said, an hour and a half drive, and anything could happen, you know? Like, it could be very dangerous, and she didn't really want me driving at night. But I'm thank, thank you, Mom, for letting me go, and thank you, Ashley, for coming with me. <sighs> and yeah, thank you, Backstreet Boys, for, <laughs> for a wonderful concert, and... Um, it definitely won't be my last Backstreet Boy concert. That's for sure. And yeah, come to San Diego. Wink, wink. <laughs> and yeah, that was kind of my, that was my Backstreet Boy experience. Con my Backstreet Boy concert experience. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'm hoping it's not that long. And I'm hoping um, you guys enjoyed it. It's just me being me. Be it's just me. It's just me being me, being crazy about Backstreet Boys, cause yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> well, again, ah, thank you. Like and subscribe and.